Let's talk about some snow. I'm 13 News Meteorologist Matt Standridge. We are no stranger to it here in central Indiana, even more once you get into northern Indiana. But for fun, we decided to look at snowfall reports and totals all the way over the past or the last 100 years. And there's some staggering amounts. And for fun, we've used some landmarks from kind of kind of show you how much snow we picked up in relation to some of the buildings downtown and even the sailors and soldiers monument. When we're talking about the last 100 years, those aren't all the snowfall reports we have. But once you get you know, so this takes us uh, there towards, you know, 19. 23, 1924, 1925, you get before that, we do have some snowfall reports, but they get a little bit wonky. They also start to get a little bit missing, but we had the best uh, reports and most reliable data from Indy, Fort Wayne, and South Bend. In the past 75 years, we were able to include Evansville, but then everyone else, there's some also recording sites now in, uh, in parts of the Terre Haute area, Valpo, other places across central Indiana that do record snowfall, but there's just not enough data to compare. So these are the big three for the last 100 years. So we've really got northern Indiana set, central Indiana set, but we don't have as many reports down to the south. Now Louisville does, but that's getting into Kentucky. But we've got central and northern Indiana. Check out some of these total snowfall reports. These are adding up all the inches that we picked up over the past 100 years. Over 2,000 inches in Indianapolis, over 3,000 inches in Fort Wayne, and South Bend is just staggering. Double those, 6,200 inches of snow. That's when you get into lake effect snow belts, and that's where you can really pick up some of these big snowstorms. So big time snow to the north. So let's start with South Bend. Now we've got the Salesforce Tower, downtown Indianapolis. You take it, we made it into feet. It's about 520 feet. Now we're rounding with a lot of these feet here. 520 feet. Salesforce Tower just for fun. 700, over 700 feet, just over 700 feet tall. Once you get in the spires, you get to 800 feet tall. And there's always that debate, okay, is the skyscraper as tall as the building or do the spires count? Yeah, let's just go with the building on this one, regardless of the spires on top. So the stories on Salesforce, there are 48 floors to Salesforce. But then there are also two uh, engineering floors and, and a couple other things. But generally, when the elevators are going for, for the public or if you work there, it's 48 floors. Okay. So the stories for South Bend take you 36 stories high. I grabbed some notes that I want to share with you to just kind of put it into perspective a little bit. For South Bend, that's 74% of the way up. You're on floor 36 with some of the snow when we added up those 6,000 something inches. So that gets you 520 feet. We're talking real high. You're above most of the buildings in downtown Indianapolis. There are still a couple that are still taller than this, but South Bend, my goodness, can you imagine you had all that snow and just be sitting here? You only got a couple floors above all that all the way through, just be packed with some of that snow. In a little bit, I want to show you the average snowfall that we do get across the state. The South Bend, there's a couple different factors to why we get more snow. Of course, you go north, you're colder. And second, there's lake effect snow. But something that we don't always get into is the dryness of the snow. The snow in northern Indiana typically is a little bit drier than our bigger storm systems that come in. Lake effect snow is just typically drier because you have to have a huge cold air difference to pick up the snow in the first place, and that reduces how much water content you have. And so when we do snowfall forecasting here in central Indiana, one of the biggest things that we look at are our snow ratios. How much water are gonna be in these snowflakes? Because we can figure out how much water's in the clouds and, and how much they're going down. We can try to figure out how much snowflakes we're going to try to produce and how much the snowflakes will try to stack up. So we get some ratios sometimes with wet snows about five, eight, nine inches of snow per one inch of water. So five to eight inches you get out of one inch of water. When you get the lake effect snow systems, we're talking more about 12, 15, up to 30 inches of snow for one inch of water. The snow can get a little bit more powdery. Now at the beginning of the season, it is still a little bit wet. But deeper into the season, January, February, they can be really kind of dusty snows. You see the snow just kind of dancing around the road, flying around. But 520 feet, you're going high. This is our highs. This is our biggest snowfall report that we have. Let's go to Fort Wayne. You get a little bit farther away from the lake and things start to change. So we go down just a little bit. Uh, down, I was looking for Fort Wayne. It's 37% of the way 
up to Salesforce. And so we do the math on the inches, that 3,000 inches became 256 feet. So pretty hefty. Uh, you're just below the very tippy top of the Sailors and Soldiers Monument, but that's 18 stories up. You're going, that's still an incredible amount of snow. But even Fort Wayne, even though we're in northern Indiana, we're kind of on the tail end of some of these lake effect storms that do take place. We kind of get the leftovers. Most of the heaviest snow is right there towards the, the Indiana Dunes, towards the Port County and then St. Joseph County. So South Bend, Elkhart, Michigan City, they're getting pounded. But you get out to Fort Wayne, it's just enough that the lake effect snow bands are a little bit weaker. A lot of times they're kind of leftovers, but it does help. It does count. We get more than Indy, Fort Wayne at 256 feet. So you get it up there. That is tall. Then we get to Indianapolis. Still not bad. 190 feet. Remember that total was 2,287 inches, about 190 feet. Just kind of estimating. That's 13 stories up. Channel 13. 13 stories up. So we're up there. You know, if you were 13 stories high is looking down, you know, that's high. Imagine that all that filled with snow. But that is about, uh, let's see, 27% of the way up. So you're over a quarter of the way up. Not pretty, pretty impressive there for Salesforce Tower with that 13 stories, 190 feet. In Indy, we can still get some of the lake effect snow bands, but they're not as intense and they're not directly, you know, you don't have one column of snow all the way from the lake to Indianapolis. What tends to happen is you've got a lake effect storm going on in northern Indiana and in northwestern Indiana, and those bands are really intense where you're picking up anywhere between one to four inches of snow per hour sometimes in the bigger snows. But then once you get to southern and central Indiana, there's not the full bands anymore, but you kind of get more of these scattered leftover showers. So this, the clouds really dump their snow up to the north, but they continue their journey to the south and east and will produce still some scattered snow showers. And there's sometimes we can get a couple inches from one of the bigger lake effect uh, snow bands that uh, try to move in. And it also depends on the orientation of the wind against the lake. If you're really going from north to south, right down the spine of Lake Michigan. You can get some really good snow in Lafayette and Crawfordsville and Greencastle. You'll tilt it just a little bit more to the east. Indy and Muncie and Richmond and Newcastle can finally pick up a little bit of snow. But 190 feet, you are tall. But it's kind of low down there, so we decided to just look at the Soldier and Sailors Monument there at Monument Circle. This was just for fun. This is actually a picture from last year, that quick burst of snow that we had in February. So to the very top, 284 feet. If you've been in, you got the view. The view, I believe, was 230 something feet uh, in that range. So you're up there, but 284 all the way to the very top. 190 feet would generally put you kind of in, in this range against the monument. And this is just a, you know, a, a rough visual representation. We didn't actually completely get it to the, the inch on exactly where it would be, but generally be uh, right above here. So you're above most of the sculptures there and, and the fountains, of course. And the monument goes to about here, but then, you know, at the 230 feet level, we're actually looking from street. So 230 feet above the street. So the street actually goes down to here just a little bit because you got all those steps uh, going up to the monument. But your snow pile, I mean, you're covering, covering most of the thing. You just see the tippy top kind of poking out there, but all the lamps, of course, in the uh, different towers kind of going around, uh, different things closer to the ground. Those would all be completely covered. The trees would be completely covered. So 190 feet, pretty impressive. So it all comes out to how much snow you get kind of year after year. And it definitely adds up. And every year is a little bit different, but we just wanted to show you what the average snowfall typically is. You got these different color bands and this is all rounded down. So what we mean by that, let's say this kind of royal blue Indianapolis, our average snow is 25. So to keep it in the 20 inch range, which we're not going to put every range up here, like 25 would be this color, 26 would be that color. The colors would be insane on this map. But so if you're in that 20 inch something, you're in the 20 inch band. So Muncie may be a little bit more and Kokomo may be getting a little bit closer to the 30, maybe 28 inches or so. A lot of our towns don't actually have complete official reports. So what we do with these maps is we've got, you know, six or seven across the state and then we kind of have to draw the bands over that as best as we can. But just looking, you know, on average 25 inches or so in Indy, but we don't get 25 inches right on the mark every year. Most times we don't. We've had a huge range over the past 10 years. Many times we've been below that. And uh, one of the big ones we've had recently 
was 2013 to 2014, where we had a pretty big uh, snow season for us. But just looking at some of the snowiest winters we've had, the snowiest winter in Indy completely on record, 1981 to 1982, 58 inches. So well beyond this, you'd be in the light pink color uh, for that year for Indianapolis. And then for those thinking, what about the blizzard of 78? That comes in at number two. Now that was Indiana, uh, Indianapolis's biggest snow depth that we've had at one time. 20 inches of snow depth. Now for the whole system of 31 hours of snow, we had 30.6 inches of snow total. But when we're just measuring it, because it's kind of melting and, and kind of meandering with the wind, uh, 30.6 inches with that blizzard of 78, but 20 inch snow depth is what we were able to officially measure in one day. Then you go farther south and we get course, less snow on average. Indy's fewest amounts of snowflakes fall in the air, 1918 and 1919. We only picked up about five and a half inches. So every year is different, but on average, 20 something inches for much of central Indiana. You get to northern Indiana, we're talking 40, 50, sometimes even over 60 inches. South Bend, I believe is 64, 65 inches per year on average. You get south, Clarksville, Evansville, New Albany, Jeffersonville, five to 10 inches. That's all we can usually expect. So we'll have to see how much of snow we get this year, but when you put it all together, it adds up to quite a lot.